So before we get started with setting up the server and then obviously running the actual deployment, we need a project to start with. Now, if you already have a Laravel project you have in mind, then you can skip this video and use that Laravel project instead. But if you don't have a Laravel project to deploy and you just want to try this out, I have a repo here and I'll link it up in the description. And this is just an admin dashboard. So I've just mirrored this from the original repository in case the original repository ever gets deleted. This should always be here. As you can see from the screenshot, it's just a skeleton of an admin panel. Now we won't be adding to this admin panel or making it work. This is purely just to get a Laravel application that we can have a play with and deploy it. So what you want to do is you want to copy this down to your local system first so we can get this up and running. So we'll just come over to clone and then we can copy this git link here and then let's clone it down to our local system. So we're just going to do a git clone and then paste that URL in and then give it the name of the folder where we want to clone it to. So I'm just going to call this one deploy. And then we just hit enter. And as you can see now, this is cloning that project down into deploy. So if we just go into deploy, and the first thing we need to do is install the composer packages. So composer install dash dash prefer dist. And then just hit enter. And then we'll just let composer do its thing. Okay, so now composer's done its thing. We need to copy the env file. So we can just do a copy and then we can do .env .example and then we want to copy this to .env so now Laravel has an env file that it can load the next thing we need to do is obviously generate our key so we can do php artisan key colon generate and that generates our key next thing we need to do is install our front end assets and then build them so we can do an npm install and then let's build them assets. So it's npm run dev. And that's compiled all our assets for us. The next thing we need to do is change the .env configuration for our local machine. So I'm just opening this up in PHP Storm, but obviously feel free to use whatever editor you like. And we just want to open our .env file, which we copied from the env example file. Now you just need to fill in the database details. So on my local machine, I've got a database called deploy for this. My username's root and my password is also root. So now the database is configured, let's jump back over to our terminal. And finally, we want to migrate and seed the database. So to do that, it's just a PHP artisan migrate, and then we'll pass it the flag dash dash seed. And that runs all our migrations for us and then also runs the seeders. So the final thing we need to do is just serve this project and test it out. So that's a PHP artisan serve. And then just open this up in the browser. And you can see we now have the Laravel admin boilerplate up and running. And we can see we can test this out here. We've got admin user. So we'll just copy this email address and the password is admin. So we go over to login and we type that information in and then hit login. And once we're logged in, we now have access to the dashboard. Now we can see we have the Laravel admin boilerplate all up and running. The next thing we need to do now is create a server to deploy this on. 